heart breaks which are little meeting my demon you say if you're not nude from this February my nature for call it but anyway thank you for watching Kona conversation we are here on heartbreaks and I want to share with you how you can heal your heartbreak complete healing if whoever has gone through a heartbreak whatever reason 2022 has had for you I'm just going to share about five things to help you overcome heartbreaks if the last episode didn't help I hope this one helps and if this one doesn't help keep glued to Kolona conversation you'll get solutions anyway for those that have watched us for a year plus now thank you for watching those have shared liked commented you're the best we thank you so much and please continue doing that please subscribe share with your friends share in your groups post us share the content i assure you that this is good value for your data and for your time heartbreaks love heartbreaks one of the things i know for sure after a heartbreak is and the biggest for me is Put away your trust from people and trust God. The Bible clearly says, Cast out those that trust in people. Stop trusting in people. Trust your God. The person who broke you is the same person you're running back to for solutions and help. I'm telling you, they're not going to help. One thing I've learned for sure that whoever you're looking out to help you is not going to help. It's only God who heals the broken hearts and he's very close to those who are crushed in spirit. So one, I don't know which God you serve, but I trust that if you're serving the same God I serve, honestly, you will be able to heal your heart if you cry to God. Go before him, come pieces, ten pieces. Just continue going to God before and not one day, not two days. Continue going before you know it, you realize that your heart is sealed again and take time in the presence of God for the next solution. Don't jump into another relationship, don't jump into another deal, don't jump into another person because of a heartbreak. Otherwise, you continue breaking yourself and you break God's heart too. So continue in God's presence, that heart will heal. The other thing I, I tell you, trust your gut feelings. That feeling, that instinct, that intrusion, that that feeling in you that this is wrong, this is not going to work, this relationship, trust your gut feelings. You have been in this relationship for so many years. You have been in that marriage for so many years, but honestly, your gut feeling tells you you're in a wrong place, this is not going to work, but you keep shutting down your gut feeling. There is nothing as accurate as your gut feelings. Trust your gut feelings. You know, before they break your heart, you already know that this man is not going to, he's not going to help me or even give me anything for Valentine. This person is not going to come for my birthday. This person is not there for me. Muamba buambi, mwesiwa kubwesiwi, rebi mukubia na ena jana andaba kubwa. But you clearly know that this person is just using you for his own motives. This person is not there for you. He's just using you because they are partner tali. They are just using you because of money. They are just using you because you are available. Your gut feelings, I am sure, listen to your innermost person and act. If your gut feeling is not comfortable with the relationship, don't be stuck with the relationship. So as I take a break, I'm coming back to give you three more tips on how to overcome a heartbreak. But for now, we sell land. Please give us money. We have land in Matuga. We have land in Gaya, on Gayaza Road, on Bomba Road, Semto Road. Give us money. We have the cheapest pieces of land for those who are out of the country. You pay your money. We also allow installments. So please call on the numbers on this advert that is running. You will get all the help. Tetuliba Fede, Tetuliba Ya, you've been in this build business for 15 years. For now, let me take a break and I'm coming back with the other three solutions. Yes, and I'm back still talking about how to overcome heartbreaks. The other thing I have learned stop chasing people. 
Okay? Trust people when they tell you they don't love you. <laughs> Trust people when they actually show you they don't love you. Actions speak louder than words. Stop chasing people. Omuntu akulaze takwagala. Omuntu akulaze okay. Aba most especially men, they will never come out and say takwagala. But they use actions. Abikola agamba ajagenda. Ajako wagende. Now in omukakasa you also stay. Find your level. Re accept that this person is not, is not for me, is not going to make me happy, this was a mistake, and close. Move on. But you keep falling back on the same people who have hurt you over and over and over. And you actually at a point where you want to make that pain a permanent place. A permanent residence of disappointment. Many many people are in that state of like Navi Manilo, you but why are you stuck in a relationship that you clearly know that it's not going to work? Someone has clearly showed you it's a struggle to be in that relationship, but you're still stuck there. I just pray and I request that you find your ability, your energy, your power, your will, your zeal, your everything to wake up and stop chasing. Wake up and stop chasing. Stop chasing. Accept. Though you love them so much, they don't love you. They don't love you. People who love you don't do that. So just move on. That there are seven billion people in the world. I mean, you can find someone else. When one door closes, another one is open. Find a chance and move on. The other thing I want to tell you, if you have a heartbreak, don't be hesitant on emotions. Don't be hesitant on emotions. If you feel like crying, cry. Cry, cry, cry. Cry, cry. Share your emotions. Rant about them. Don't stop them. But when you're done, build a bridge and walk over them. Don't stay in the state of mourning. Learn to build a bridge and walk over it. Emotions and stress and heartbreaks are some of the hardest things to overcome. But once you master to build a bridge over your heartbreak and walk over it, you'll be unstoppable. You will be unstoppable. And lastly, one thing I want to tell you lastly, lastly is, don't wait for closure. Especially women. You like someone sitting there and they explain to you why they left you, why things didn't work out, why what worked and what didn't work. Honey, no one is coming to help you close this. Just accept things didn't work out whatever way and move on. One of the reasons people are stuck in relationships is they're waiting for a closure, for a day we meet and talk over it. Yeah, you will talk over it. Or he will tell you what you want to hear because they know that you call them to ask them, why did you leave me? I know, baby, I love you so much, but you know, I've been busy. Just understand that, you know, no saying to get them school fees week. They are lying to you. I'm telling you. Don't wait for a closure. Close, close that relationship and be done and be gone. Stop waiting for closures and discussions and explanations. Already someone has done so many things that shows that they don't need you. They have even told you, move on. If a man has told you to move on, just you know, move on. Men rarely say that. But if a man tells you, just move on, just know, move on. But you're stuck in that relationship. I hope this year you will move on and do a closure. For now, those that are not healed with this, I don't know what to do for you. Maybe you try the psychologist, the counseling, the what. But I hope this helps you. It is short, simple, precise. But it will help if you follow everything I have talked about. Talked about. For now, this is your girl and I am out. I hope you have a wonderful month. See you next week. Same time, same channel, same everything. Bye.